Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, grad stars. Good afternoon, partners. Good afternoon, friends. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon on the very special day, the ABSA Grad Star Awards 2020, 10 of the finest announcement. Today is a very special day for Grad Star and everyone involved. As I mentioned, the live 2020, 10 of the finest announcement. As usual, we just want to post up our socials here. Please remember us on social media during this, hashtag GradStar2020. So, we made it. We can barely believe it. Um, I'm sure all of you out there are also wondering how many milestones and achievements you've made this year, the year that's 2020. But I know one thing for sure, and that's that we couldn't have done this without each and every one of you in the audience today. And for that, I'm extremely grateful. I'd like to thank Dr. Eric Albertini for setting up the judging framework and leading us by the hand to this stage. I'd like to thank our partners, ABSA, for your support over the past two years. The ABSA Grad Star Awards have con continued to elevate the students, elevate the students and reach out to the youth of today. So thank you. And um, our, our employer sponsors, FASCAN, BAT, EPIROC, Accenture, and BPSO. We couldn't have chosen more supportive sponsors to walk this path with. And I'm delighted that we'll be seeing many of you next year for the 2021 Grad Star Awards program. I'd also like to reach out to the universities. Thank you so much for your support. It hasn't been easy for you guys this year and you've continued to support us, continued to reach out to your students, continued to market for us and continued to assist us, over putting this, uh, assist us in putting this program together. So thank you. Um, one additional shout out, our amazing partnership with Golden Key, um, a new partner this year, but we're honoured to partner with you and we look forward to many years of working together. Quick shout out to my team. I mean, everybody's team's had a tough year this year. Tammy, Yusuf, Tanya, Charmaine, Iftisham, we made it happen. I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud of your teamwork and all of this. Thank you very, very much. But most of all, first and foremost, who could forget the GradStar 2020 top 100 students? What incredible dedication, talent, innovative and problem solving thinking you guys have shown. The country has much to look forward to with you as our future leaders. Now, with the help of everybody that I just mentioned, on the 17th of September 2020, after one of the most disruptive years witnessed in the last century, we brought together six employer teams, 100 top GradStar students, hosted 36 workshops and finally agreed on the Grad Star 10 of the Finest 2020. What an amazing and incredible day. We together broke boundaries and we proved that once again, we can achieve this goal and nothing can stop us from succeeding in recognizing the talent out there in South Africa. You guys are awesome. So in this way, I've asked a number of partners to put together a few words of encouragement for you all going forwards. I'd like to begin with Dr. Tokazile, We've worked with her for many years now. She's an amazing leader. She's the group head of leadership, learning and talent at ABSA South Africa. Dr. Tokuzile, we thank you for your support, guidance and partnership over the past two years. And we remember the amazing speech you made last year at the 2019 ABSA Grad Star Awards. Um, so we'd love to invite you today to replicate some of that passion, to share with the 2020 students and give them a hand of guidance in the months and years that follow as they join the world of employment. Perhaps one day for you, Takazile. <laughs> thank you so much, um, Laura, and thank you very much to the, the Grad Star uh, team. As Over always, to delighted. Uh, as always, I'm delighted to you know come forward and, and give my two cents worth to what has been, I'm sure, uh, an incredible journey. So um, today feels a little bit strange for me. I think um, I'm using a new technology. I'm so used to MS Teams or uh, Zoom, you know, where you can kind of see a few names, et cetera, but I'm so scared to touch anything in case we blank out given this is uh, going live. So, so I beg your indulgence. I must say the one thing that I miss uh, most of all that I always enjoy about these grad star moments is the opportunity to look out, you know, when, you, when you're on that stage and you're looking out at these incredible young leaders who have already accomplished so much. And, you know, I always know in my heart of hearts that they will go on to achieve great things. So, so I miss that and, and, and yeah, I just ask you to please transmit all your energy and all your excitement 
and smile. You know, even I can't see you, I'm pretty sure that that I would feel it, right? So I, I'd like to start, first of all, by saying congratulations um, on behalf of, of APSA. Yeah, so uh, at APSA, there, there are two things that are very important to us uh, at APSA, and just you being in this program brings that possibility to life for us at APSA in a very special way. Yeah, the first thing I'd like to share with you about APSA is that our APSA leadership philosophy, we believe that leadership is actually about how you think, so your mindset and how you behave. So for us, leadership is about action and example. So we expect and, and we support people to lead across all levels of our organization. So for you to be on this program, obviously it's, the program has recognized your, your leadership impact to date, but it's also recognized your deep leadership potential to continue to do more. You know, so so we are very glad to have partnered with uh, GradStar and to have an opportunity to be part of your your leadership journey. And we trust that the experience that you've had will actually help you along and has helped to you know reignite or or amplify the leadership capacity that you were born with. Because that's another one of our beliefs. We believe that leadership is capacity and it's abundant, and that people are abundant and they are full of abundant possibility. And one of those possibilities is, of course, leadership. I think the second piece for us that is very important is to play a shaping role in society. So we love this partnership because this is a partnership that not only benefits ABSA in terms of our, our pipeline and the people that we connect with on this journey, including many of you um, that are tuned in today, that we are able to absorb into our organization so that they can continue to do great things in, in ABSA. But what's brilliant about this initiative is that we're also contributing to your brilliance in other organizations and, and in Africa, because as much as we are here to build a successful business and to serve our customers, we have a, a higher purpose, right? And a higher aspiration to really play a meaningful and shaping role across the whole continent. So I am delighted for you. I mean, you made it to the top 100. I'm sure you'll be drowning in countless opportunities. And yes, hopefully some of those opportunities will be in ABSA and we'll be able to, to welcome you into our ABSA family. So at this point, uh, no pressure from Laura to actually replicate you know, uh, what others found to be an inspiring um, conversation last time. There are just two things that I would like to, to leave you with because I am mindful you know, of virtual meeting etiquette and not droning on when people are not able to, you know, to engage in person. But there are two things for me that I find have helped me very much in this moment and that I'm holding dear in this time that we're living through, you know, of COVID related impact, some of which has been, you know, negative and, and of course loss of life has been um, tragic, but COVID has also, you know, presented new opportunities as well as some gifts that we otherwise may not have um, discovered. So, so the first thing that I wanted to say to you is you are a leader. Right. And if there was any moment, you know, where you were uncertain of that, I think your being in the top hundred of Grad Star, this is a national com competition, right? You beat out a lot of competition to get here. And what I would like you to do in this moment is to own that, right? And you need to own leadership, both as a responsibility, but also as a privilege. Yeah, you are privileged to have gotten here. Right? There are very few people across the continent who have the opportunity of the great education that you have received. And on top of that opportunity, you've now had the opportunity of the Grad Star journey that has shaped you and hopefully helped you build not only skills, but tremendous networks that will also help you as you go forward. Right? And what I'm doing now is inviting you to the table of leadership across Africa. Right? Those of us who are privileged to have had opportunities and education to, to hone our skills, you know, to expand our context and understanding of what it is that Africa needs, I believe do owe the continent our leadership action, right? But this leadership action will not result in anything if you don't recognize that you are a leader and that you are called to lead and you are called to lead greatly. So in our last conversation at GradStar, you know, I said the, the phrase to the leaders in the room and I repeat it to you is that you are a leader right? You have been acknowledged on a national stage. You should be proud of that and you should celebrate it. But more than that, 
right? We have called you a leader. We've recognized and honored you as a leader. You now need to step up. You need to own your leadership and you really need to dare to lead. And this brings me to our ABSA attitudes of being brave, passionate and ready. And I want to focus particularly on brave and on ready, right? Passionate, I won't spend too much time on. So what do I mean by being brave? So by being brave, right, there's a lot going on in the world. I'm sure many of you have been impacted. I have personally also been impacted in a negative way by COVID. But I have also taken the opportunity and also in my family situation and not just in the context of um, my work to look at what is it that is a potential gift for me in COVID. Uh, one of the sayings that I live by is that in every upset, there is a setup for learning and growth. But that setup never becomes visible if you don't choose to look for it and to live by it. And this is my second invitation to you, is that as much as COVID has turned the world on its head and created new challenges, there are many myths that we lived with that COVID has shattered. I've discovered some of these myths for myself, right? And on an organizational level, we're also living these myths. I'm sure a lot of you may have heard about, you know, remote working as a thing. Remote working was talked about 30 years ago, but everyone was convinced it would never happen, right? And it came out of a managerial helicopter view mindset, right? Where management felt they needed to see people for them to be managed effectively. COVID took that away overnight. And guess what? There are many organizations that are operating as efficiently as before, or sometimes even more efficiently. So my second invitation to you is, what is the gift for you in COVID? Particularly, what is the leadership gift? What is it that, that COVID and the impact of COVID makes possible for you? Remember, there's a very thin line between the creative tension of challenges versus challenges pushing you into terror and paralysis, and that's a lack of, of leadership. So I really invite you to take up and think about and experience what we are all experiencing on a global scale in a different way. So after you've had your celebration, whether you make it to the top 10 or not, it doesn't matter because the top 10 is an honor, right? And it's great recognition, but making it to the top 100 is more than enough to celebrate that you have enormous leadership possibility that you owe not just yourself, your family and your society, but that you owe Africa to bring to life. All right, so have a great um, session. Good luck to everyone. A big congratulation to our top uh, 10. We celebrate you today and we recognize you, but I also want to really celebrate you all again as the top 100. So thank you very much from, from ABSA and we look forward to continuing to support you either as our customers, our colleagues, or as our partners in bringing Africa's full possibility to life. Thank you very much, Laura. Thank you, Tokazile. What wise words. Um, I can see in the chat, there's lots of uh, interaction. Um, and I think you did fabulously replicating your live speech and improving and embellishing. Beautiful. And thank you so much for your support. We couldn't have done it without you in the past two years. Thank you so much. Um, we also have a little video coming up from Golden Key. I can see that you there's a lot of you talking about Golden Key in the chat. Um, and as I mentioned, we have a fabulous partnership with Golden Key Southern Africa this year, which we're delighted about. Um, so Dr. Elmi Castleman has provided has sent in a video of a few words of inspiration for you all. So let's play the video. The 2020 APSA Grad Star Awards experienced a significant growth in entries from just over 3,500 in 2016 to 8,000 entries in 2019. The judges also commented on the improvement in quality of entries. On behalf of Golden Key International Honor Society, Southern Africa, it gives me great pleasure to convey congratulations to the top 100 Grad Star winners and the 10 of the finest. Golden Key Southern Africa congratulates every Grad Star finalist as one of the top 100 university students across South Africa, of whom many are Golden Key International Honor Society students. 
Golden Key International Honor Society has become a springboard for many students to future-proof their careers. Universities are more than brick and mortar. It is the spirit and the enthusiasm of students and lecturers that give it life and create a caring and supportive community. A few golden key tips going forward. Do what you have to do to dominate your subject field. Real leadership is not being in front. It is being there and available. Remember to focus on those aspects you can control and not waste valuable time on what lies beyond your control. Leadership means to understand problems by listening, evaluating, revising one's opinions, strategizing and then proceed to implement or inspire others to do what is right. As a top achiever, ask yourself, how can I apply my academic and leadership qualities to build a better society? It could be discovering a cure or shifting the discourse on decolonialism. Lastly, embark on your career in a responsible and ethical manner. Congratulations to each and every one on this extraordinary achievement that can pave the way for an exciting career journey. Keep dreaming and soar. Remember, you are amazing. Wow, thank you to Dr. Elmi, thank you to Golden Key. Remember everyone, keep, keep dreaming and you are amazing. Now, when it comes to the 10 of the finest announcements, who else would we ask to take this honor but these amazing sponsors that have walked this path with us? So you'll be hearing from Kareen Brady from Faskin, Shanturi Naidu from BAT, Kia Sito from Accenture, Dineo Kamalo from BPSA, Catherine Kutzer from Epiroc, and of course our platinum partners, Joe Blake from ABSA, with a shout out to George Makupa. We know you put a lot of work into this, George, so thank you. All of you have shown how committed you are to the next generation, and you are the most incredible ambassadors for your organization. Thank you for your time and expertise in hosting these workshops and for preparing these videos that will follow to announce our very special 2020 10 of the finest. Now, quickly, I would like to, I know you're all holding your breath. I'm so sorry, I've got one more video for you. I just want to play you a quick video taken from the workshops of 2019 so you can all get a feel for what we achieved and what we managed to pull together online in 2020. And from 2019 to 2020, this is what 2020 looked like. Congratulations to everybody in this unique time. So, as I mentioned, by the power of teamwork, we all came together and we're proudly here to announce the 10 of the finest. So first announcement in no particular order and with no preference, I'd like to play an announcement by Kareen Brady from Faskin.
Sea Street has come and gone already. It was a very different experience for us this year with it being virtual. And I want to say thank you and well done to each and every one for participating and making the success. It was so much fun to see all of you and to see how creative you can be. So this year with things being virtual, we wanted to ensure that we still give you the full experience that it would have been, would, have, would we have been face to face. So we wanted you to still be creative, work as a team, and with all of that, still have fun. I'm proud to say that I think we did achieve that. So I love to see you guys think laterally, collaborate and embracing these changing times together as I think that this is probably, as we said in the session, the new normal. It was very important for me to see how you guys work as a team, you build character and I really hope that the Fasten session was a value to you. After having had an opportunity for my team and I to spend this time with you, we um, are very thrilled to announce a recipient of the top 10 title. Congratulations to Alice Litswalu. And with that, I wish you all the best for your year end and well wishes forward. Hope to see you again next year. Again next year. Well done, Alice, the first member of our 10 of the finest. We're so proud of you, Alice. You stood out. Well done. Second up, hold your breath, guys. Again, in no particular order, I'd like to introduce a video from Shantori Naidu from B80. Hi, everyone. We'd like to thank the top 100 Grad Star students for joining us for the workshop last week. It was awesome engaging with each and every one of you. Before we announce the top 10 grad star, we would like to use this opportunity to give you some feedback based on the workshop from last week. It was evident from the questions that were asked that you were knowledgeable and well prepared on BAT and our products. The questions that you asked were well researched and were insightful in terms of the current context of our company and where we are at. It's important to understand and know the stakeholders that you are going to be interacting with as you never know the opportunities that could come out of these interactions. The top 10 grad star student that we will be announcing made a great impression on all of us. And we as BAT have the privilege of presenting to you Vashal Naidu as one of the top 10 grad stars of 2020. Congratulations and well done. Michelle, number two, University of Pretoria. Congratulations. Third up, Dineo Kamala from BPSA has prepared a video. Have we got the BP video? There we go. Hello, I'm Kia Sito, Talent Acquisition Lead for Accenture Africa. Accenture prides itself on being a global multinational consultancy with deep expertise in technology and specialist knowledge in strategy, consulting and operations. Part of what we do is providing innovative solutions and strategy design to our clients across a variety of sectors. This is enabled through our tools, technology and most important, our talent. As part of our investment in finding the best talent at a graduate level, we have partnered with the Grad Star Awards. We believe that you find talent at a graduate level and groom them to become the future leaders and solutionists of the organization.
As part of this process, the Grad Star Awards are an intensive process receiving applications from thousands of applicants across the country's universities. These thousands of applicants are then brought down to a top 500 Grad Star list. This is further whittled down to the top 100 Grad Stars. The top, five, the top 100 participated in a workshop set up by the sponsor employees around case studies and solutionings that are highly relevant and top at the moment. As part of what we explored at Accenture with our grad stars was case studies around government services such as the UIF, education, healthcare, and also commercial case studies around the retail sector in South Africa. The grad stars had to participate virtually using different Accenture tools and technologies to be able to pitch their ideas and speak around what they think could be solutions for these very, very relevant and topical issues at the moment. I am more than proud to say that some of the solutions they presented were cutting edge, they were feasible, practical, and these are ideas that the country could implement. If these young people are an, ind are an indication of the kind of leadership that South Africa has, I am very, very proud. That brings me now to announcing an individual that will be part of the top 10 for Grad Start 2020. This young lady embodies and personifies women leadership, girl power, as we like to call it. She started off her humble beginnings as a top scholar at Umtata High School. She then subsequently got a scholarship to UCT studying her Bachelor of Business Science in Accounting and Finance. At UCT, she has been instrumental in activities such as Shoko, RAG, and also consulting in a consulting NGO that she has started with her peers. This is an individual who personifies wit, a sense of humor, but a passion and love for all things solution-based. I am proud to now announce as part of the top 10 grad stars for 2020, Anusha Alex. Anusha, congratulations. You stood out to the different sponsor employees for so many different attributes that you personified. You brought to the table amazing solutions and suggestions. You are fully engaged, fully active in every single case study, and this is what we noticed about you. I hope to see your name in lights. I hope that you may continue all your amazing achievements, such as Dean's Merit List and being part of the Golden Key Society. And more importantly, I wish you all the best in all the best in your career. I know for sure that I will see your name in lights. To all the top 100 grad stars, thank you for your time. We know it was not easy moving to a virtual platform. We know it was not easy with all the connectivity challenges that each of us had, but we are so grateful for your time, for the amazing ideas you brought to the table. And I look forward to each and every one of your careers prospering in the future. Thank you so much to Grad Star 2020, and also we look forward to partnering again in the future. And well done to Anusha. Um, clearly in my excitement, I skipped a line, and that wasn't Danae from BP, but that was Kiyosito from our very um, important sponsors, Accenture. Anusha, well done. We're very proud of you. Kia had some amazing words to say about you. And now, to the line I should add, to the line I've already announced, Danae Kamalo from BPSA. Greetings to the 2020 Top 100. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for making time to join the virtual workshops that we recently hosted. Our objective as BP was to share with you the exciting changes that are taking place within our organization and how that will shape the kind of talent that we want to bring within our organization. As such, we use the opportunity to talk about the graduate program and what it entails. The global pandemic has forced us to think of different ways of engagement. And I want to take this opportunity to also appreciate how you embraced this new way of engaging with each other with such open minds and your enthusiasm participation and passion to know more about the BP graduate program and our organization as a whole impressed all of us immensely. As one of the sponsors, we are also honored 
to announce one of the top 10 award recipients from this initiative. So I would like to congratulate Zuko Mkwechana from the Northwest University. I also want to wish all of you the best for the remainder of the academic year and hope to see all of you safe and sound in 2021. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deneo. Congratulations, Zuko. Northwest University represented. Amazing. Okay, so we have another video from you. Uh, Catherine Kritzer from EpiRock is going to announce another member of the top 10. Hey, top 100. Catherine here from EpiRock. First and foremost, I need to let you guys know that you really rocked last week. I, I left the workshops feeling really inspired. Um, my only wish is that I'd actually had a bit more time to interact and engage with you all. That being said, at Epiroc, we're all about passionate people and courageous leaders. And I think this year's GradStar program in general, as well as the workshops, did a really good job of showcasing the talent that is this year's Top 100. You're an incredible group of talented young professionals, and we're really excited to follow your success as you build your personal brand stories. And with that in mind, I have the pleasure of announcing one of this year's top 10 grad stars. It's a young gentleman from the University of Cape Town, Athen Corsi Nzala. Congratulations. That's it, five out of the 10, we're halfway. UCT, well done again, Atankosi, amazing stuff. So I'm gonna leave the last remaining 10 of the finest to be announced by our platinum sponsors, headline partners, ABSA. Joe Blake, thank you for, thank you for holding our hands go through this process. She's prepared a video to give you the remaining five. of the ABSA Grad Star 2020 competition and I have the absolute pleasure of announcing part of the top 10 for this year. First on my list is Shanti Koza from Rhodes University, Simbarashi Gomwe from UCT, followed by Mame Diare Mbaye also from UCT, Zakia Abdullah from Wits University and last but certainly not least Tabo Musuku from University of Johannesburg. A massive congratulations and well done for making it this far. And we have a slide. Here you go, Shanti Kosa. Simba, Group 2, go Group 2. Mama Diara, congratulations, you were very popular. Zakia Abdallah, representing Bits. Tabo, Tabo Masuku, UJ. Congratulations to the top 10. Here's your slide. Here's all of you together. You, you are the future. You are, you excelled on the day you showed up. Well done. But to the whole top 100, you're outstanding. You're outstanding young people. We are very, very proud of you. And we honor you for your commitment to both yourselves and to each other. The teamwork we have witnessed throughout this workshop journey has left us in no doubt that the Grad Star Top 100 cohorts and the 10 of the finest drawn from amongst you will lead this country with strength, with strength and courage and that South Africa has a lot to look forward to when you're at the helm. May you lead with integrity and honesty, with gentle kindness but immutable strength. May you learn from yourselves and each other and may you draw inspiration and wisdom from the incredible leaders who have gone before you. Keep your networks, lean on each other, for we are stronger together than we are alone. We are all a sum of our experiences, and the more diverse you can make these, the more holistic a person and a leader you will become. That's it. We, as the Grad Star team, all partners and all sponsors, we believe in you, and we wish you the wings to fly. Thank you. Good afternoon. We're proud of you. <laughs>